Alright, thank you for the chance given to me. In this occasion, I would like to give my comment about my friend proposal. But before that, let me introduce myself. My name is Nikada Ayu Ngrani Putri. I'm from 6G. Alright, without any further ado, let's be started. First of all, I would like to talk about the title. The title is about an analysis of a great teacher strategies in teaching English online classes during COVID-19 pandemic at SMPN 2 Sumatera Timur. I think it's already good enough because she already uh, state where the location of the research and also what great teacher that will be analyzed. After that, uh, for the chapter 1 introduction, I have a little comment about that. Uh, because I know most of the proposal not contain this ex this explanation because uh, most most of proposal after chapter one introduction we directly go to background of the study but it's okay if you use it and then after that about the background of the study I I have no uh, specific comment because I believe you already know what you what you write, what the topic, but what the topic that will you discuss. So I have a little comment about that. If you want to make a citation, like as stated by Maxim 2009, you should to put comma after the year. So uh, I have a little comment for you. And then about problem of the study. I think this is not a problem of the study because as we know problem of the study is what the problem of your research work, what the problem of your study. So uh, is it because is it only a question about your study? I think it's not can call as problem of the study. I think it is a research question. And then for the objective of the study is already good enough. And the significance of the study, uh, I think is have, I have no problem about that. And the limitation. And then operational definition of K terms. Here I put a little comment, same as before. Uh, you forget to put the comma after the citation. Based on Utami 2000 and 2012, comma, teaching strategies are like that. You should put comma after the year. And then for the chapter 2, literature review. Uh, for the first theoretical framework, again, uh, I comment. Based on Utami 2012, you should put comma after that because this is a citation. After the year, you should put the comma. And it's again based on Oxford 2003. After the year, you should put a comma. You should put comma after the year. And this is again according to Hardan 2003, comma. Language learning strategies are blah blah blah. I think you should uh, be careful when making a citation. And then, uh, and, and then after that, here again, you should put comma after the year. Overall, I have no significant comment. And then for the chapter 3, and then again and again, based on Sutoku and Arif 2010, I think you should put a comma after the years, like this, like that. So, it's make your uh, proposal complete. And then for the research place, research time, and research subject, I believe uh, you already make your best to, to make this proposal. Here I have a little comment about that for the research subject. Uh, I think it's more be complete 
if you a state how many teacher that will be that that will you use in your research and then for the technique of data collection again you should put comma after the years based on Goman and Clayton 2005 comma observation is blah 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 like that uh, and the next one about review uh, about interview uh, I see again according to score stock 2006 you should put comma after the years and and then this is about still about citation based on Edward and Holland 2013 you already should uh, you already put a comma but it's not like this it should be based on Edward and Holland 2013 comma so uh, this symbol is not appropriate in this citation the correct citation is like this based on Edward and Holland 2013 you can revise it soon Alright, for the proposal, I think it's enough. And the next one about reference. Alright, for the first one is about the title. Uh, I have a little comment about that. If this is a title, you you should not uh, write it in italic because, as I know, only the name of journal is written in italic not the title of the resource so same as the same as before if this is a title of the journal you should not written in italic because the only the name of the journal written in italic and then here uh, i think it is uh, from web if I can suggest, don't use information from web because it's not accurate. And then, and then uh, for this, uh, please correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I think uh, only the first letter in the title is capital and the other is small. What I mean is only the letter A the capital and the other is small and then same like before I think is it if is it a title you can write it normal not as not use italic and then please correct me if I'm wrong I think it's only the first letter in the title is capital but the other is small like uh, what i mean is the first letter is a uh, capital and the others is small and then and then here if this is a name of the journal it should be written italic and then here if uh, I think this is a. I think this is a thesis or description. If you take information from description or thesis, you should make citation based on this name, public, publication year, thesis title, faculty name, university name, and city location of the university. This is based on work I research in the internet. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Overall, uh, I think all of your proposal already good enough. I do apologize if there are mistakes when I give my comment or peer feedback. Alright, thank you.